It may have took me about a year, but I finally came through with a little bit of that long game with the McFarland Store exclusive DC Multiverse, Dick Grayson, Robin. And the spirit of Ultimate Warrior will run forever! the channel for another DC Multiverse McFarlane Toys unboxing and review. And today on the channel, we got Robin, Dick Grayson Robin. But for all your Robin needs, make sure you're hitting up Big Bad Toy Store. Use the link in the description down below. And Big Bad Toy Store coming in extra hot last week as they did put this up. It still could be up, so better check out Big Bad Toy Store, because this was originally a McFarland Toy Store exclusive, and in a true Dick Grayson move, old Todd McFarlane on the couch here, he made it a McFarland Store exclusive, and it sold out just like that. I was actually in a two and a half hour meeting when this went up, and it was gone almost immediately. There was no warning, nothing like it. I just was so infuriated with you, Todd McFarlane, that I was so mad I missed out on this. I said, I'm not paying a hundred and some dollars. That's what the prices on eBay had been. Very, very expensive. I did try that little, uh, what's that little lottery thing McFarland store runs? Todd running a lottery. He's running a casino part-time, apparently. Who knows what he's up to? But they did do that. I didn't win that lottery thing, so I didn't get a second chance. And I just said, well, just was not in the cards for me. I was just never going to have a full dick in my hands. Grayson, that is. Just wasn't going to happen. So I just moved on with my life. I moved on. But then the magical gods known as the long game came back around about a week ago. Big Bad Toy Store. Just put them up here for, I think it was $39, which of course it was like $25 and then it was like $8 shipping. So it was like $32, $33. Hey, $39, put it in your pile of loot, shipped it with a bunch of other stuff. Not a bad day at the office for something as rare as this one. And one of the hardest McFarland Toy Store figures probably the last couple years, if not ever, was this one. So very interesting. It does speak to the popularity of dicks everywhere. Grayson, that is, once again. People love a big dick, a little dick, all kinds of dicks out there, especially Grayson dicks. They're big fans of them. So Robin getting a lot of shine here, of course, from McFarland Toys. And I think maybe in the future they'll say, hey, if we're going to redo this, we better make a few extra dicks out there for everybody. Because Dick Grayson, a very popular character in the annals, not annals, but the annals of McFarland Toys, no doubt there. But of course, we're going to do this review like we do all the other reviews on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there. And we'll do some comparisons later on. But let's take a look at old Dick right here. He's a little dick, though. Look at that. He's just a little guy. This is more of his younger years here. Boy Wonder era, though, you can almost say. Gold label, McFarland Toy Store exclusive. Not anymore, I guess. But DC Multiverse, 22 points articulation. Reusing, I believe, that female uh, Dark Knight uh, Batman, uh, Robin, I should say. Robin body. I believe this is the same thing. I have that in my collection. I probably should have dug it out. But don't have her for the comparisons. But I'm pretty sure it's the same body. So I don't know what that says about Dick Grayson when they're using bodies of females as him. It is what it is. It's a wild time in uh, society these days, I guess. Robin, Dick Grayson, DC Multiverse. Robin, Dick Grayson, 22 points of articulation. Glamour shot in the back, the boy wonder himself looking only like a boy wonder could look. And like I said, an expensive figure, but I'm opening it up. We must do it for science. This is a very scientific channel. Uh, if we could only get paid like scientists on this channel, that would be the nice thing. See you later. Goodbye. Just not in the cards, unfortunately. Can you believe it? People want to pay scientists money, but they don't want to pay action figure reviewers money. It's a weird life. Weird life. See you later. I mean, they're curing things. I'm curing people's ills about figures. We're basically the same thing. I'm basically like a, a doctor, a surgeon, something like that. Who knows? Uh, McFarland Stan, seen it before. See it again. Let's see what it says about old Dick. Richard Dick Grayson. Acrobat Dick Grayson was the youngest member of his parents' death-defying circus act, but after the cold-blooded murder, Dick vowed revenge. <laughs> Seeing a genuine piece of himself in the boy, Batman took him in and gave him a better outlet for his anger. Becoming Batman's protege, Robin is an expert fighter and astounding accurate, with a tough example in the world to live up to, but the boy wonders true strength may lie in not being Batman and providing a beacon of hope and family 
throughout the Dark Knight's Grim Crusade. And he's just a teammate. He's just a good teammate out there, the old boy wonder. Getting it done with Batman by his side. But there he is, the old plastic prison. Just a little dick, as we did say. He's just a little guy, the littlest acrobat. And if you're going to be an acrobat, you got to be kind of a little guy. And we got the tape going here. And Todd McFarlane has recently told me this is Cambodian tape. He finally gave me the secrets of his tape. I said, where did you get this extra sticky tape? And he said, it's made by the cannibals. Yes, you said it, Todd. I'm, I'm just repeating your words. The cannibals of Cambodia. And I said, wait a minute here. I'm not sure if there's a cannibals in Cambodia. I think that is like a terrible stereotype. But he tells me they make some of the best tape. And it could be out of human remains. Who knows what's going on there? I uh, don't they have like a catacomb in Cambodia full of like skulls and stuff like that. It's a, a dangerous place back there in Cambodia. But uh, apparently the best tape comes from Cambodia, says Todd McFarlane from the couch. There you go. All right, can I get Robin out? We got a wild cape here. I'm going to cut some space in so I can get this out of here. Because it's not a lot of room to get out this uh, cape for some reason. Come on, let's pull it out. Let's get it together. Let's get this together. All right, come on. Come on, come on. There we go, we did it. See you later. Goodbye. All right, twist tie off to the side. Save that for later this year. And oh, my hands. We got a lot of hands going on right here. We got a Fist of Fury. What does he come with here? He's got a Fist of Fury on him and he's got a splayed out hand on him. Here's the opposite one. So if you keep a track at home, you can switch them around. We do got a Finger Point of Doom where he's going to just tell everybody, you, what are you doing, brother? That's what he's going to say. And then he's got his hitchhiker hand. Of course, a lot of people with dicks out there, Dick Grayson, sitting out on the curb uh, trying to get a hitchhike to the next town. You never know what's happening there. And then we've got two gripping hands, trigger hands here, but no guns with old Dick Grayson, as we know. Now he does get a batarang going on, tied to a real string, real rope. Like that, not a bad day at the office. I always hate it when they get untangled, though, because they were so nice uh, in the package. But here we are, all untangled. Fling this thing around, and bam! Throw that up and you just repel up there. We've seen it. We saw him do it with uh, Batman in the Batman 66, of course. But now we dive in. We get down to old Dick Grayson, the boy wonder himself, looking very interesting. And there's things I like and things I don't really love about this one. But let's dive into it first. And let's start with the head sculpt on here. And that's kind of what I don't like. He's got a very bowling ball-like head. He's got a big head for this little body, I do think. But he does got the black hair. He does got the white eyes. He does got the Lone Ranger mask going on. Got a little bit of an interesting kind of mouth there. It's just it's kind of off to the side. I don't know what he's doing. I'm a side talker. If he talks out the side of his mouth like that, is he, is he trying to be a ventriloquist? That's what it looks like. He looks like he's trying to talk. He's got a puppet and he's trying to do the voice. That's what it looks like. Uh, so I don't know. I'd go full smile. I'd go full open mouth or I'd go mad face if I was uh, Robin here. But he is Dick at the end of the day. Dick Grayson, of course. Two big old ears flapping out, looking kind of like mice, mouse ears. But he is the boy wonder. He's just a little kid. Shouldn't be picking on him. Got the nice yellow cape over the top, of course, on brand for Robin. You got the red, green, and yellow attack. That's Robin all day. Whenever I think of Robin, this is pretty much what I think of. Maybe a little bit bigger. Uh, maybe not as big of a head, but close enough to be dangerous to what I think of with Robin. He's got those Aquaman underwear on going good. And then he's got his Peter Pan-like shoes there as well. Bare skin on the legs and on the arms. Gloved hands, gloved forearms looking good. Got the big R in the chest. That's how you know it's Robin. He's got that big R looking good. Arms do go all the way around for us. Bicep cut. Double jointed elbows. Very small arms on him. He needs to hit the weights a little bit more. Uh, hands removable back for us side to side. No real waist articulation on him. You do get the movement out of the head though. He does got those acrobatic splits here. He does got the legs that go up. Double jointed knees ankles up and down and that's about it for the articulation department i imagine he will fit on this mcfarland stand wouldn't he he's got to fit on that stand but the boy wonder old dick himself looking pretty darn good right here i like this dick grayson i really do like it i wish the head was a little smaller maybe a little bit uh squished in a little bit more it's just bowling ball shaped but really that's the only gripe here you need robin to go with your batman especially the classic dick era of robin uh, still my favorite Robin at the end of the day, because that's what I grew up with, knowing, and that's what sticks with you after all the years, of course. But a good-looking figure, happy to finally have this in my collection, be it a year plus later, whatever it may have been. But of course, speaking of Robin, we got another Robin we recently unboxed on the channel, a pretty good version of Robin. I always thought of this as kind of 90s Robins, I always think of what, Tim Drake, I believe? Got that going on. And then, of course, you got to have a couple of different Batmans. I'm not sure what Batman I'm going to pair this Dick Grayson with. 
I'm just going to figure that out down the road here. We got two different McFarlane Batmans that could go side and side with the boy Wonder here. Very interesting, uh, eclectic mix of Batman and Robins right here at the table. So a very fun one. Like I said, a bit of a relief to finally find this one at a decent price a year or so later. But what say you guys and gals out there in YouTube land? What do you think about this figure? Did you pick it up when it first went out for sale a year plus ago? Once again, what is time? Were you one of the lucky ones that grabbed this? Let me know your thoughts on old Dick. Grayson, that is, in the comments down below. And of course, you made it this far. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Turn on the old notification bells. We got videos every single day and then some. We got even more content for you, of course, over on Patreon, including early access to both YouTube channel videos, uh, giveaways, you name it. It's all going down over there on the old Patreon. And Patreon, your best way to support the channel. You can also support the channel at PressingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. And don't forget social media, Sir Paul 64 on the X, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on threads. And on Instagram. So for Batman and Robin 2, I am Kyle. See you all real soon.